Hello everyone, TechnoSleuth Craig Chamberlain here. We are on episode 4 of the Faster Vista series where I show you how to speed up Windows slow <coughs> Vista. <coughs> Anyways, go ahead and scroll down to the bottom left hand corner today. We are going to open up your browser, Google Chrome, and you're going to go straight to my website, www.pcmichiana.com, or just go straight to pcmichiana.com. Scroll down to the right hand side, and what I have here is all the software I've collected over my many years as a professional geek. In the free anti-spyware software, we're going to remove those nasty bugs from your computer. You know those really nasty ones that slow it down? Believe me, if you have spyware, adware, malware, trojans, anything on your computer, it's slowing down your computer a lot. Well, we're going to use the one tool that catches most of them, Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. So go ahead and select that link. That's going to bring you to my download page. Just select download on the left-hand side. Then it'll bring you straight to CNET downloads page, which you can see the ratings. As you can see, amazing ratings because the software is awesome. Click download now. If you're using Internet Explorer, a pop-up will come up, but on mine, I'm using Chrome, so it's going to give me this little option to save down here. So I'm going to click save, and it's going to download it. Once it's finished downloading, go ahead and open it up. Select run. Select the language. Go ahead and click next. Accept the agreement. Next, 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 and create a desktop item icon, sorry, next, click install, and it'll install your software. Now this software is free for personal use, not for commercial use, I do have to tell you that. This is considered freeware, so if you're running a business, you should look into maybe utilizing this as a test and then making sure that you purchase a license. We're going to disable the update immediately because it kind of conflicts with the launch, so just select launch and click finish. Once your software is opened up, then all you need to do is click update, then click check for updates. It's going to download the update straight from their server. Once the updates have completed, just click OK, go to Scanner, click Quick Scan, and then click Scan. Now, if it finds anything, just clean it out, and if it finds anything, then I recommend going back and clicking a full scan. If it doesn't find anything, then most likely you don't have anything, because this catches most of the stuff out there. And that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe. And also, check out the website. I do have a forum now where all of you can post questions, comments, uh, answers, maybe your own videos, if you got your own videos. And also, I do have a live stream stream now at the website. In the upper left hand corner we have the live video stream. I'm going to be doing things on there periodically and you know just having casual conversation and of course there's the forum. Thanks again.